True Colors Mural Project is a program of Berkeley City College's art department. And we train young artists, activists, muralists uh, to create community-based murals in all parts of Berkeley. Berkeley City College collaborates with Earth Island Institute to sponsor us in doing public murals for different community organizations or businesses all over Berkeley. Earth Island Institute is our fiscal agent and they give us project support. They are an umbrella organization that supports environmental sustainability projects all over the world. We're their only arts project and they see the importance of young artists learning about environmental justice, turning that knowledge into public art, and educating the public about those same issues. The Berkeley community really should be excited about this project because one, it's at an amazing school. It's the first charter school in Berkeley. Rome is an awesome, awesome space and the students there are just doing amazing work. Uh, they should be excited also because this mural addresses issues that are of concern for the Berkeley community. It addresses environmental issues in particular. Some of the things included in the mural, we have uh, Tanya Polito, who's um, uh, an activist. So this is Tanya Polito who lives in Richmond and here's a portrait that I did of her. Um, and she's a 19 year old activist who's working on creating more community gardens. The uh, Girl Scouts who are trying to take a palm oil out of the Girl Scout cookies. This is a Girl Scout Thin Man cookie representing um, the challenge they took up for the environment regarding um, palm oil which is also affected for environmental. We're probably going to be learning just about as much as the students are learning from the mural. Like so much that I've learned since the beginning about like the Broward Youth Awards, and, uh, things that are going on like the Richmond refineries and all that. The students at Rome are really, really engaged in the project, and they've been giving us insights and their feedback, and just they've really guided the process. I have to say that the process between my students and I is a process of mutual education. I learn as much from them as they learn from me. So she has this really amazing energy that it's like everything is new. Every time that you are with her and she's working with you, it's like she's experiencing the same thing, even though she's probably done this, I mean, 10 million times. Our vision is to create these um, community-based murals in collaboration with the communities themselves and to train young artists and activists to positively impact their environment, both in terms of creating community education with the content around environmental justice. We're using a new design idea by putting QR codes directly into the mirror. These little squares, they're little informational boxes, and say for example when the mural is painted, when these boxes are there, you'll be able to take your phone and go up to the wall and scan it, and it'll take you to a website that gives you more information about the issue that is selected in that section. It's you know one way to educate ourselves and the students about the things that we should be worrying about and working towards changing to make you know Berkeley a better place to live for all of us. So the community can support this project in several different ways. Um, we have community paint days um, in March where people who are artists in the community can actually come in and paint with us. You can also donate um, by going to Earth Island Institute's website and donate money or you can go to Kickstarter and donate money. 